Well, today's video is going to be very different than what I had planned on. That'll come out tomorrow. When you hear me talk about I had to go into town, I didn't really feel like going into town. Well, I shouldn't have gone into town. I went into town, got back. Before I went into town, I made sure that the yard was secure. I left the front door open so they can go in and out through the doggy door screen. When I got back, all three dogs were out. I found the first hen dead. Miss Press. Saw the puppies. Yelled at them. Yelled at Papa. Then I saw the second hen dead. Coco. She lays the biggest brown eggs. And then I saw the third, Scarlet. All three dead. It's not like they tried to eat them. They just killed them. So naturally, I kind of went off the hook. One by one, I was able to get the dogs up into the yard and into the tiny house. I ushered the chickens into the yard, and that is where they will stay. No more free-ranging chickens until I get these dogs out of here. And I can't tell you what my initial thoughts were about what I would do with the dogs. Instead, I grabbed a shovel. Neighborhood, neighbor kids came over. They noticed me crying like a baby. They asked to help. So I gathered all three up and uh, went out to my woods and dug a big grave. And they stood there and they wanted to help me and I didn't feel comfortable. But they gathered some rocks to put on top. And then I said a prayer over them. And then I went across the street to talk to Mr. Lucas about it. And then uh, I see the neighbor's truck pull up. They, uh, my neighbors, the, the ones with the kids and... He said, Miss Ann, I can help you with the dogs. I can take them somewhere. There's a couple different options. We talked about it. But it doesn't stop there. A few days ago, the kids had come over and told me something very, very bad happened. Something had gotten in and killed one of their roosters. I figured, it's a uh, raccoon or whatever. Well, what I didn't know then, but I know now, and the kids didn't tell me, because they're really good kids, is that it was actually Junior, who was over there in the pen, who killed their rooster. So, I've been crying for about an hour. No, the puppies will not be staying, and it's very likely that Papa will also have to be rehomed. So Donna, I don't know, we can talk about it. But there's a couple different options. Um, he knows of, well, there's a no-kill shelter. The, the rescue hasn't gotten back with me, so I'm not even going to talk about that anymore. There's another woman who wants a couple of dogs who has a a lot of property, and she's got a dog kennel, and uh, no chickens. So what you say about once a dog gets a taste of it is very true. I thought I took all the precautions, but apparently I didn't. And after I had decided to keep the puppies, well... Not only are the puppies killing my chickens, they're going next door and killing theirs too. So the puppies are going to go 
Junior and Sonny are both going to go. And quite possibly Papa as well. Because I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's Papa. He never showed any aggression towards the chickens. But he was the first one that I saw with one of the Easter eggers that ended up dying in his mouth. So... I have the responsibility, not only for my chickens, but for my neighbor's chickens. My neighbor's chickens bet over, uh, next door to me. My neighbor's chickens across the street of Mr. Lucas. And here's the thing. This family, they came over and they knew how upset I was because I was just blubbering like a baby. And they had just hatched out, I don't know, like 12 chickens. They said, we'll give you some more hens. And I'm like, after my dog killed your rooster and they're extending themselves to me well that's Christianity right there but no I am considering being a dogless homestead I am just completely broken right now I just don't know what else to say I can't believe I, I mean Five. Five hens have been killed at the hands of my dogs. So it's it's not going to happen. And it's just going to keep happening. There's literally no way I can keep these dogs contained. I mean, I've got a good yard. I, I don't even know how they got out. I don't even know how they got out. I'm guessing they climbed up over the pallet and got out that way. But uh, it's not going to happen again, so they're not going to be allowed to go out in the mornings like I've been letting them. They're going to be in the yard until I can, at least until I can get the puppies taken care of. And at this point, well, I don't even want to tell you what was on my mind when I got home. And then I found the first hen dead, the second hen the third one. So in tomorrow's video you get to see these hens while they're still alive but just know that Miss Pris Vance Pants is gone. Coco is gone and Scarlet is gone. I was frantically running around my property trying to find the rest of the chickens. I finally got them up in the yard but Anyhow, sorry about this depressing video. Oh no, I'm just. And for those of you out there who are going to say, I told you so, or, you know, that you're mad at me, or, you know, whatever, spare me, okay? I'm upset about this enough right now on my own. So just, if you can't be supportive, if you can't be whatever, you know, if you got something shitty to say, well, I, I'll delete your comment. I ain't got no, I, I don't have any time for you. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.